2008 diesel Jeep Cherokee accessing the wireless ignition module. First step, take this panel down. It's just a clip down. Unclip and folds down. Next, a couple of screws underneath to take this plastic off. Some of these screws here are surprisingly tight for just for being self-tapping screws. You'd think they'd be a little less tight, but they're not. So when you undo them, sometimes you have to go in, put the palm of your hand up, and twist like that to get them clear. Now to remove the bottom plastic cover on the steering column, slotted screwdriver seems to work. Unclicking it. So. Now for the ignition module itself, there's a plastic cover. Now we can put this down and just pry the cover out from the side. Slotted screwdriver works. A little tight. There we go. So, two connectors to take off. Here's the module. Might be easier to bring the module out sideways, like so. You got two connectors. You got to kind of push on the top, push down on this tab, and again here, push down, and that's the antenna and this is the rest of the wiring there we go there's the got the module out of the car then you got to take off this plastic cover now there's a bit of a trick to this these two tabs here on the side you need to slide something in maybe lift up the tabs then slide this forward to let these two little pins out and these two latches on the front don't just try to pry up these latches, that isn't going to work because there's these two pins holding and this to slide forward. So just slide something under here and under here at the same time, slide it forward, then it comes out. Now all we have left is these two star screws. Two star screws can undo. One, and there's the six little contacts poking through right there. The six little pins go in onto the circuit board here from this other circuit board that comes from the key chamber so these top little six pins need to be cleaned and this one probably needs to be cleaned if in fact that was the problem because there's no solder on those it's just a press fit solenoid plunger for the lockout slides in but it only slides in one way one way it goes all the way down but if you put it in the other way it doesn't go as far down so I have to slide it in this way, goes all the way down to the bottom. And that's only if that little lock at the bottom is in place. So there you go, all the way down. There you have it. Two springs ends in. This clip split all the way down. This circuit board all the way down.